Central Club. Midlands, oh, bloody hell, you've got Bur- obviously the I'm, obvious. The, the obvious Birmingham. Um, they're probably, I would say, yeah, they're probably the best in the Midlands. You think? Yeah. The, the numbers, the lads, you know, I can remember Birmingham. An, an, another impression Birmingham left on me was only a kid again. They come, um, oh, fucking hell, got to be in the 80s because I was a youngster. They come out to ca- the castle and um, they were all dressed in Burberry and um, uh, Akaskudam. Um, and they had a lot of black lads with them. They had, um, and they looked, about 80 of them, they looked fucking. I was on a bus coming into town and they looked, well, I was like, fucking hell, who are these? And they looked very good, you know. Yeah. But Birmingham got massive numbers, good firm. Well, there's know? a few in the, in the West, isn't there? Like, you've, you know, you know you've got your West Brom. Villa. West Brom got a good firm. Villa got a good firm. Um, you know, coming across Leicester. Walsall. Um, <laughs> no, I won't say Walsall. <laughs> Leicester. Yeah, Derby, I was going to say. Like... Nottingham. They all got good firms. But uh, Birmingham, I think, um, yeah, they, they were tops out of them. I can Wolverhampton. Remember, I Wolves, Wolves. Wolves got a good firm. Once we went to Birmingham once. Kicked off that, at Wolves, didn't it? At Molyneux. Yeah. I can remember going was to Molyneux. Was you in jail for that one? I was in jail for that one. <laughs> you remember, don't want to mention the ones you would do. We'll get on to that later. But. I, can remember going, I can remember going to Wolves. Uh, a couple of coaches went up to Wolves in 88. Wales were playing England on, in rugby on that day. Okay. And they put us in the side, the side of the pitch, the away end. And I can remember when we got there, they had this, the, the subway, everyone, oh, the subway army, subway army. I can remember we got there and um, we all ran down to the subway and they were at the other end trying to call us through. And um, I don't think we took them up on the offer. I think we was calling them through. They was calling us through. Yeah. And I can remember um, one of the boys, Farah, getting grabbed by a police, a copper on an horse. And, and he's a big lad, Farah. And, 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 and they were... Um, the, the cop around the horse got him by the collar and he, he's riding along with <laughs> oh, one of the boys like you know up. but Wolves always had a firm uh, you know always had a good firm have you seen any like I've seen a few different podcasts and documentaries you've like Leicester you've got that Riaz Khan did you, uh, did you ever hear of him no see no. see a lot of people that's what I'm saying like I've heard um, I've seen podcasts and they're like yeah he was like one of the, the top lads of Leicester and he's this fear guy and stuff but I've never heard anyone talk about him. No, I, I no, mate. Um, I have, I have seen, I have, I'm sure I've seen a, a thing with him. A Asian guy, is he an yeah, Asian yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, obviously, I think know. he had murder with Tommy Robinson, actually. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because obviously, Tommy's a Luton boy, isn't he? So, yeah, yeah. Um, but they, they, were, they, 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 the Bay was got it. They, they had a good firm, Leicester Mind. Leicester, Leicester. Yeah, yeah. They, they were okay. But like I said, Birmingham, we, we went. For, we had a few with Birmingham Mines, but we've never really, really, how can I explain? We've never really gone toe-to-toe like, you know. We've had, I can remember, we went up there one, it was a midweek game, and um, we took two coaches, and all our lot was there, and we had the naughty two coaches, like, you know, midweek game, and um, we went round their ends. Why? Don't know. We'll come up with the idea. Don't know. Maybe Anis. Uh. Don't know. <laughs> but... We went round their ends, and uh, I can remember me, Nils, um, I think it was Anis. As we were going in through their turnstiles, Cardiff started singing uh, outside, <laughs> and it brought her on top, and all of Birmingham rushed down. And um, it, we might have been lucky then, to, because if we were, maybe if we would have got caught on their ends, we would have got, you know, we would have had, to, we would have had our fucking hands full. But um, I think... Um, yeah, we went round their ends and Birmingham, I, I, you know, it's, we're Birmingham, it's, it's, it's strange, like, because we've never actually um, had a proper, proper set two of them, like, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, have you ever been turned, by, turned over by them? Or no, ever? no, we haven't, no, no. But like I said, we, we, went, we went round their ends and um, that, could have, that could have been quite, quite naughty, to be honest with you. But all the boys started singing, so I don't know if they were singing. I don't know why they started singing. To be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we wanted to get so, in there silently yeah, yeah. And, tr- and, and and have a go. But um, another time with Birmingham, um, it was all said in Neville once, and there was hundreds of us, and they drove past in two vans, and um, they could have stopped. They never. Don't blame them really, because there was hundreds of us, and they parked up in Canton, and they come down by the exchange yeah. where the little scuffle run by there. 
Um, also, they were massive when he played in, um, oh, what's it called, when he played in the Millennium Stadium. Oh, they played, they played Liverpool in the Wavens. It was Liverpool, Cup, was it? Yeah. They were massive then. Um, they had a massive firm out there. Darren Pearce, Cardiff boy missed a penalty for them, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were massive then. But Birmingham, you know, they got... Yeah. Oh, another time we went to Birmingham, we took about 150 of us on a, on a train. And um, Cardiff, about 20, 30 Cardiff were up there with Sunderland, with a couple of Sunderland boys. And... Um, uh, the boys said that these these these, these brummies attacked them. What was Cardiff playing Birmingham? Was Cardiff Birmingham, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. What like what was? Well, this? Anis was friends with his Sunderland boys. He's mad, didn't he? Right? Anis, like. And um, so they was out. They was already up New Street before oh, we got there. Like, yeah. yeah. So Birmingham was up New Street and and outside of the, uh, the train station. So they they've steamed like the twenty thirty Cardiff were there, right? And and our lot, not our lot, but the Cardiff boys were there saying, listen chill out, you know, like leave it another 10 or 15 minutes, our train load's coming in, our boys are coming in, don't bring it on top and, you know, we, we'll have it off then, like you see what I mean, yeah. but they never, and they, they steamed the 2030 Cardiff, um, the old bill a fucking obviously got onto it, so as we come off the train station, there was old bill everywhere, wrapped us up and um, escorted us to their ground, but we was outside our St. Martin's, their pub, and, um, one of their boys was saying, can't if you're here, they're here, they're here, like, you see what I mean? But they they fucked it up by by steaming the Cardiff that were already up there mm. instead of waiting for everyone else to land. So they marched us to the grounds and um, after the game then, there was massive numbers on both sides, but the police... police had yeah, the up by then, yeah. Yeah. Again. But yeah. we was close, like, you know, if they wouldn't have attacked that initial 20-30 and waited for all the boys to get off, then it could have been a nice, you know, a, a, nice, a nice battle with them. With um, the, some of these firms, like we just spoke about that Riaz can. You've got a Birmingham guy that they had like the Zulu bars. You've got the cast penance, yeah. the carton leeches. Why do you think for Cardiff to be such a, a respected and feared firm, why haven't we ever been like, I wouldn't say portrayed in the media, but like, why is it, we don't really get much respect or line like when it comes to people knowing now. Like if you look back at, if we wanted to look back at, at it as history or in a sense where like, you know, these were the top boys of this film. Why, mm. why have we never had that? Like, do you think that's just some, some sort? Because we're Welsh, maybe. Probably because we're Welsh. It were the, yeah, probably because we're Welsh. Or do you think it's maybe because none of you just ever wanted to be in the media or something? Because a lot of these, it's like they've sold their books. They've. Yeah, yeah, may, maybe, maybe, um, yeah, maybe. But I think a lot of it's because because we're Welsh, um, and. Yeah, I, I, just, I just I don't it's know. A weird one, yeah, isn't it? it's a strange one, that to be honest with you. It was actually that Derek Diablo who um, mentioned it. He was like, he was like, it's funny. He goes, uh, he goes, all these hooligans, you know, you've got Zulu bears, Cass Penner, but you never hear anything of Wales. It's not fair. He's going, he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> he's I, 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 I know what you mean. I, I suppose no one really wants to put their name to it, maybe, and also. Um, because 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 we were Welsh, do you see what yeah. I mean? You know, it's, it's an English English league. Um, it's an they call it the English disease, don't they? You know, so yeah. um, and as well, like you just said, then if you're if you're openly saying that you're signing over to the dark side, that you you can't really do any of these boys who are saying they're top boys are not active anymore because no. everyone's eyes on them. Of course, they you know, yeah. <laughs> you no. were active in 2016, like do yeah, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, back in the day, we used to have this. The, the, the police used to carry this little photo card. They used to have it. Um, I, I think it's on your... Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. But they, they saw With this, you on there and yeah, this and yeah. the top six. So like. a, a, anywhere we went from the early 90s, the old bill were on us anyway, do you see what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's just, yeah. No one you had really, air then, though, John. I had air then. <laughs> proper handsome then. Handsome like. bugger you was. He was a handsome bugger, <laughs> believe it or not. Dangerous were here. <laughs> Dangerous were here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't really know. I don't know. Yeah. Man, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh. And uh, yeah, not on them. No, nothing, nothing with them. Because they had well, a firm, I think. Not well. on them, yeah. Well, like I said, we went up there. 2000, I can't remember what year it was in 2000. We, we all went up in cars, um, plotted outside at this pub, just on the outskirts. One of the Cardiff boys were on the phone to this kid, Nottingham kid. So um, I've took the phone off, off, off one of the Cardiff boys. I said, listen, where do you want us to go? He said, me, Maddy, and we. I said, all right, then, we'll be there. So I jumped in the cars, drove through Nottingham. Now, trying to get 
I don't know, 70 to 100 boys in cars. You've got a big convoy, you know, <laughs> and it's hard. Yeah. It's traffic lights, cars, you know what I mean? It was quite that. Anyway, we pulled into this car park. A lot of cars went one way. We pulled into this car park and um, we jumped out the car. I had it off for them. About 50, 60 of them. Jumped this barrier straight into them. They were gone. And um, so, goes to the game. I think Anis got surrounded on a bridge and I think Anton, um, put all the boy, um, he, he, he steamed into him with a few of his boys um, before the I can't remember, before the game or after the game, one of the two anyway. But after the game then, where we parked our cars, they stabbed all the tyres. So we were stuck there, which we were happy about, to be honest. You, you know, we couldn't go home, basically. We had to wait for um, a mechanic or whatever to, <laughs> to sort the cars out because they, they, they'd smashed them and I'd stabbed the tyres. So we were still up there, about 20, about 20 of us, I think there was, and they come charging down again. We've jumped this barrier, and it, it looked like they hit an invisible wall. It just went bang, stopped, and started bouncing and waving their arms around like a fucking butterfly. Do you see what I mean? And in my opinion, if a firm does that... They're shit Yeah, do you see what I mean? I hate all that, you know, waving your arms around and all. If you can have a fight, just fucking fight. Do you see what I mean? Just steam straight in. You don't need to fucking wave your arms around. You know, it's fucking... But anyway, that's what they've done. So, um, I thought we'd done quite well up there, to be honest with you. Then, they said uh, they're going to come back to car. Funny enough, what have happened is, we were talking to a couple of them after when we was by the car park, and we, you know, we were chatting to them. They said, oh, it's one of the best firms they've had up there for a while, this and that, this and that. They kept us talking, and then... Um, and a firm of them come, about 60 or 70 of them, come charging down the <laughs> road. And uh, they had a shock of their lives when we jumped the barriers and went towards them. Do you see what I mean? They uh, thought, fucking hell. And they, like I said, they just stopped dead. Then they said um, that they were going to bring a firm to Cardiff. And they said they brought 400 down, yeah. Why are they bringing a firm to Cardiff? They can't even show up in their own... They, don't get me wrong. Listen, Forest have got a firm. They have got a firm. They've got a couple of hundred boys, yeah. Um, but... I don't know, I just, it just, they just stopped dead. Do you see what I mean? They were running and just stopped dead. It's, it's like they hit an invisible wall, you know? And I, we thought ourselves, okay, now we're, we're outnumbered, yeah? And, um, yeah, they didn't, they didn't come steaming in. But then, like I said, they, they said they brought 400 to Cardiff. And I was like, wow, how the fuss? They may have brought 400 fans, but they never brought 400 <laughs> fucking lads in the firm. Do you see what I mean? They're, not a chance. So, um, but like you know, they have got a firm for us. Most most of the listen, most sides through the eighties and through nineties, most teams, most cities, and especially big cities, got a mob. You know, yeah. I've got a mob. But it, it it depends who, I suppose, who were there at the time. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. You know, what boys you got out that day? Yeah. Who you meet in that day? And you know, impacts on the results you have that day. Do you see what I mean? Didn't you say something happened in Northampton as well? Northampton, fucking hell. Cardiff played Northampton at um, a playoff. And um, fucking hell. You think Northampton, you know? Yeah. No, and they gave Cardiff a right fucking go. Fair it's dues. a big town, Northampton. Well, they give, honest to God, they give Cardiff a right, a, you know, a run for their money. After the game, they give Cardiff a right run for the, you know, Cardiff had to fight for their lives. Fucking you know, hell. Who'd expect it from Northampton? Just a Peterborough is another yeah, one. Yeah, Peterborough. I can remember a Pete going to Peterborough, um, walking through this like shopping centre, and um, it kicked off in the shopping centre, and there's some guy who hit me in the eye, punched me in the eye, I don't know what the fuck he had in his hands, but all I thought was white flash. Have you ever had a, been punched yeah, out of yeah, white yeah, flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's whacked me, white flash. My eye come up like a baboon's ass. It was fucked my eye. And um, it was quite funny, the story. He, um, I'm thinking, you go into automatic mode, don't you? Head down, start windmilling out, out of instinct. Do you see what I mean? And all, like, all I was thinking, come on, boys, come and help me. You know, get over here and help me sort of thing. And all I can remember is, is, is my mate, um, Cookie, running over, shouting, break it up, break it up. Oh. <laughs> You want to let you know he's he he, he, he weren't a fuck on anything like that, but um, I, it was quite funny. And instead, instead of I, I was thinking, fucking hit the hit, you know, hit the cunt, hit the cunt, yeah. And all I could do was break it up, break <laughs> it up. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> but um, Peter Brothers, another you know, I can remember going to Peter Brothers, going in, 
from the away end through their end onto the pitch, running up to the to to, to where their away um, their home end was, getting chased back by police and with dogs and all that. Um, what about Colchester? So that side as well. Yeah, I've not been no. to Colchester. No, um, no, no. I've been well, to Colchester. It's in Essex, isn't it, Colchester? I think it's Col- Colchester. Yeah, <laughs> sure it is. I think it's um, uh, Ipswich, Norwich. Yeah, I've never had trouble ways. with them. No, East no, Anglia. Never had trouble with Ipswich, Norwich. No, um, I said Northampton, uh, Peterborough. But the, yeah, these are the ones you've actually had big rows at. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, because obviously we, you know, you say, like what you said, Birmingham and that great mob, and I, you've had some close calls, yeah. but. There's, some, there's been some big roles in East Midland, Rob. Yeah, so, like, like, you know, some of them smaller clubs, they surprise you, don't they? Do you see what I mean? You know, and you yeah. don't you don't turn up and you don't turn... That's where the diehards are, though, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. know, the Liverpools, the United, yeah, they might have been massive back then, but where they're so... They're, institu- they're institutions, isn't they? You know, yeah. it's just... <laughs> you If you go to Liverpool... Every game will have a different set of fans. Yeah, because it's all yeah, of course. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. you know, and then it, 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 these smaller towns are more close knit, aren't they? Like yeah. your Newport, like Northampton. If I go to watch you know, Fairwater Rugby play, it's fucking intimidating because it's just all the boys. Do you yeah, know what I mean? yeah. The definitely. smaller clubs will always have their diehard, real, real, yeah. real boys. Close knit. Yeah. You know, like yeah. we were, like our little crew, close knit. And um, you know, like I said, you think of Northampton. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. You know, and they give Cardiff a right go. Um, any of the other sides like the Midlands? Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Coventry? Coventry. No. Not much for Coventry. Um, Stoke? Is Stoke Midlands? Or is that not? Yeah, Stoke Midlands. Yeah, Stoke. fucking hell. Um, oh, did, was you there for that one? Jail. Jail. You don't want to talk about it. Jail. <laughs> but, you was, know, you, was you twiddling, twiddling your thumbs when you were hearing about the stories and had to watch your videos back? Deviled, mate. Deviled. You know, 300... Oh, how many firms have gone to Stoke 350 handed? Do you see what I mean? And done what Cardiff done up there. Stoke Don't get me wrong. As well, isn't Stoke, got, Stoke got a massive numbers, good firm. Um, I can remember going to Stoke in the 80s, like, you know, and um, the old Victoria grounds. And where the away end was, um, there are boys on both sides. And I thought that was quite impressive, to be honest with you. Yeah, because they normally be mucked in one, one way. One side, yeah. yeah. But I, can, I, can, I don't know why it's stuck in my head, but they, they had, they were on both sides. <laughs> It's a weird place, Stoke, isn't it? It's like in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's this, Midlands, but it's... it's yeah, this, they've got other big clubs around it, haven't they? They've got Port but, Vale. It's not a big club, but, you know... Yeah, they've they got, they got like the Man, Man United's not yeah, from Manchester's yeah. not far from Stoke as well, isn't it? Our, yeah, our or so, yeah, Birmingham, yeah. I suppose. But obviously they can hold their, they, you know, they can hold their corner, Stoke. They've got some good numbers, some good boys. Um, they've come down, I think they come down here once and they went in the butter. Don't think anything happened. I think they got wrapped up, but they come down. I think they were in the borough. But after that time up there, obviously, um, a lot of bands got under. A lot of bands. So, um, but kind of a massive up there that day. You know, like I said, I was in jail, I've got it. But yeah, that's like the uh, final. Yeah, that's that. Was, that was, that's probably it was the last game of the season as well, weren't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah, um, it was a hot day, weren't it? I mean. Yeah, boiling hot day. 